Hello everyone, this is part two of the series SEO for bloggers and I'm going to explain dwell time and bounce rate. My name's Theo MacArthur, I've been blogging for 20 years and teaching blogging since 2016. Okay, so what are the signals that a rank brain uses to decide where a page or a post displays in the search results? Well, one of the things it uses is called dwell time. Now, dwell time is how long a user stays on your site after clicking through from the search results. We know that the average time is 3 minutes and 10 seconds. If you can create content that keeps the user on your site or your blog for longer than three minutes and 10 seconds, then you have the potential to rank above the page one results that are already there. And bounce rate is like the opposite of dwell time. It's a measure of how many visitors leave your site immediately after arriving on it. So they land on it and immediately they say, no, I don't like this. They click away and go somewhere else. That's what we call bounce rate. A low bounce rate sends a good signal to Google. So if you have a longer dwell time and a lower bounce rate than other search results on page one, you will rank higher than those sites that have a shorter dwell time and a higher bounce rate.